Oh, okay. Okay. Should we place it over the coffin when it's placed? Or forward?
I'm going to be with you. I'll be with you. So I've got, I'll give them to them if they haven't got any at the front anyway. Start with the front of the lungs. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, coming to the end now, ready for the wait? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to step this way so we clear the tailgate. Yeah. And now, if we start turning towards the chapel door. Okay. Right, yeah. And then onto the up onto the shoulder, please, gentlemen. Is everybody comfortable? Yeah. Okay, so on your left foot, please, gentlemen. Thank you. Nice and slowly. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come together today in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to welcome everybody here today as we come together united in heart, united in spirit, but most importantly, united in a love that can never, ever die. And it is that love that we bring into this place today as we come together to say, a final physical goodbye to your beloved Stephen Marty. You know, it's always a good reminder to be told that this is a physical goodbye we're saying to Stephen today because he's gone in body but not in spirit. He's gone in body but not in character. He's gone in body but not in the wonderful memories that you have of him. And uh, today is a sad day, of course. None of us really wants to be here saying goodbye to Stephen today. Gone far too soon. But we are here, and for his sake, I hope we can, as the hymn says, shine through the gloom 
and point Stephen to the skies. I hope we can point him to the angels today. Today is the day when we come and we remember that as Christians we are not a despondent people. We are not a despairing people because we are called to remember that this earth is transitory. We only have a short time in it and then we go to our permanent home which is of course our heavenly home. And so Stephen is with his heavenly father now. He's reunited with all those who have gone before and he's now in spirit, in love and in peace. I'm going to actually, if you don't mind, ask the photographer to come and step aside because it's, it's uh, excuse me sir, can you please stop because this is now a distraction and we really need to be concentrating on the service for Stephen. So together today, with love and peace, we say goodbye to Stephen. Thank you all for coming. This service is a short service here in this chapel, and then we will go to his final resting place, and there we will place him with love and peace. So let us have a moment of silence in memory of Stephen. Remember, we celebrate his life as well as mourn it. In a moment of silence, give thanks to God for all that he meant to you and remember him with love and peace. of our death. You are our help in every time of trouble. Comfort us as we mourn. Give us grace in the presence of death, that we may have sure hope of eternal life and be enabled to put our trust in your goodness and mercy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Of course today we have to be aware of all those who can't be with us and I'm conscious that part of what we're doing here by filming it is helping them, but uh, I think the most important thing is that we are not distracted uh, because this is a divine service for our brother Stephen and uh, we must uh, try and concentrate on God's words and send him with dignity to his eternal resting place. So let us come together now. You know, I was astounded as I read all the tributes in, in this wonderful booklet that you've created uh, for Stephen, from his, his father, Alfred, his mother, Helena, his siblings, Frank and Elsie, and others, and Sandra, Salome, Kudi, me, also, many, many others, uh, his partner, his daughter, his son, so many beautiful tributes. Alas, we haven't got time to read them all. But what you can do, of course, is spend some time today, read these wonderful tributes, and in the quiet of your heart, give thanks to God for all that Stephen did. Of course, one of the most amazing tributes was from his colleagues, uh, uh, at the, the, he, he, his praising him for all the wonderful work he did uh, with, with all those who were in difficult situations. And, they will miss him, and I know you will miss him too. And it is our privilege today before God to hand him over to God's grace and God's peace. We came into that beautiful hymn, Rock of Ages, and it is to a Rock of Ages that we send our brother Stephen today. And that is why it's my privilege to read the beautiful words of the 23rd Psalm because it's a reminder that this place that we're here in, this place Earth, is indeed not our permanent home. Our permanent home is with God, the Good Shepherd, 
who surrounds us with love and protection. Stephen has been taken from us. His body failed ultimately, but the new body that we're given will never fail. It will be a place of eternal joy and eternal health and eternal life. So in memory of Stephen, let us listen to the beautiful words of the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in a right pathway for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread the table before me in the face of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. What a beautiful psalm, the house of the Lord forever. I'm going to ask Frank now to come and share some biographical notes of uh, Stephen for us. Frank, please come and share your words. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is with a heavy heart I stand here to reread the biography of our beloved brother, son, father, partner, friend, and colleague, Stephen Lee Apeko Marte. I began this biography with a poem by Claire Horner titled Immortality, scripted in 1935. It goes like, do not stand by my grave and weep, I'm not dead. I do not sleep. I am the thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond plains in snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain of quiet birds in circling flight. I am the day transcendent night. Do not stand by my grave and cry. I am not dead. I did not die. Stephen Lee Apeko Marte was born to Alfred Kwesi Marte and Helena Davis in Accra, Ghana. At age three, he, had, he was admitted at the University of Ghana Primary School Nursery. Two years later, he started class one in the same school. He passed the common entrance examination and gained admission to the Ganata Senior High School. He passed the final examination of the West African Examination Council examination and he gained admission to Winneba Senior High School for his sixth form course in 1991. After his advanced level general certificate of examination, education examination, he qualified to enter the University of Ghana for a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1993. He left for the United Kingdom in October 1998 after doing a year's national service at the end of his degree course to undertake his Master's of Business Administration at the University of Leicester. Following this, he developed his career as a social worker beginning with Newham Council, then later with Southern Council before his passing on the 23rd of November, 2021, at the age of 48. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you, Brian, and God bless Stephen. If somebody were to ask us the question, do you know where you are going ultimately? Do we have the answer to that question? I hope we do. 
because the answer is that we go to a better place. The psalm that we had read before Steve, uh, Frank shared his words about Stephen to us reflected that better place. The psalm starts with the beautiful image of still waters. We've all been to places of stillness and tranquility. It cures the soul, especially when we're under stress and strain. And so it is that now Stephen is luxuriating in the beauty and the tranquility of heaven. There's no more pain for Stephen. I know his life was far too short. 48 years in this day and age is too short. But that is the number of years allocated to him by God. We do not know the reasons God takes some lives so young and so uh, sadly, and others live to live a long, long life. There seems an unfairness in that, but God knows what he's doing. And we are told that in the fullness of time, these questions that we don't have the answers to here on earth today will be answered in God's economy. For God's ways are not our ways. His ways are mysterious. And we are now to place Stephen in the hands of the God who created the whole universe, who we have to be insured with totally. We place our insurance policies on this earth to material things, but how many of us have insured our future to the heavenly eternity that we are heading to? And so today, Stephen's death must help us all to remember where we are going. <clears throat> where are you going? You're going to amazing grace. And that is why I'd like to play this next hymn for us. And as we listen to the hymn, let us contemplate on that heavenly place that Stephen is at. And let us also remember that the psalm talks about a banquet. God prepares a table for us. And uh, Stephen is in that banquet of heaven now. He's sitting round that table with a cup that runs over in the house of the Lord forever, where there is indeed amazing grace.
have to believe that Stephen has crossed that final river from this city on earth to the new celestial city, the city of peace, the city of love, the new Jerusalem. Remember the words of the book of Revelation, for behold I make all things new. I am the beginning and I am the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. For to him who is thirsty, I will give for free from the fountain of the water of life. And Stephen is drinking from the fountain of the water of life. Somebody once shared with me a very powerful thought. They said to me that the greatest music that has ever been written throughout the history of the world has always been unfinished. And so we may think that Stephen's life is unfinished, but he leaves a great melody behind. He leaves the legacy of all the good work that he did, all the memories that he leaves in your heart. And as we go from this place to his final resting place, let us sing, because he is with the heavenly choir now, and it is Therefore, my privilege today to say to you all here, this service is not a farewell, it's not a goodbye, it is Stephen, we will see you again. So let us go with that hope that one day we shall all meet again and we shall be gathered in the sky, it says, with that host of all the saints and the martyrs and all those who have gone before. And that one word will ring out, the word hallelujah. So will you please stand for Stephen now as we come to the words of commendation and as we remember him, we give thanks to God for his life, for all that he was and for all that he accomplished. And that now for Stephen, the sorrow, the sickness, the pain, it's all gone. Death is past, but he will live on in your hearts forever. And so together we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So brothers and sisters, in the name of Christ, in the name of God who created us, Christ who saved us, and the Holy Spirit who gives us breath and peace and love, let us take our brother Stephen to his final resting place and let us remember that we go with God's love and God's peace. So God bless you all today and uh, let me share these words with you. There is no night without a dawning. There is no winter without a spring. And beyond the dark horizon, one day our hearts will sing, because those that leave us just for a while have only gone away out of a restless and a careworn world into a great and bright day. So let us send Stephen to that bright day, to that greater kingdom, that incorruptible power and that great glory. And I know that God will abide with him as he abides with us all today and for all eternity. God bless you all. And uh, we will leave this chapel now. We will take Stephen to his final resting place. And I would ask you please, as soon as you leave the chapel, if you have a vehicle to get into it so we can go to his resting place.
otherwise they get so distracted.
can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel glad when you're glad. I feel sad when you're sad. If you only knew what I am going through, I just can't smile without you. You came along just like a song and brightened my day.
can't smile without you. I can't laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You see, I feel glad. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have remembered our brother Stephen. We have commended him. We have paid tribute to him. It is time now for us to place his earthly body into this earth, remembering that from dust we come to dust we go, but our spirits, created by God in the image of God, lift up to heaven. And so, our beloved brother Stephen. Into God's paradise we now send you. Okay, lift the coffin please gentlemen, just by the strap. Don't okay. worry about touching it. Okay, and we're going to walk slowly over the grave please. Just watch your step. If you need to place the coffin down slightly you can. us putting our trust, our confidence and our hope in that which can never die, eternal love and everlasting peace. Just place your straps down on the green bit please, Just place them down, that's it. We're going to take one bow please, thank you gentlemen, and step slowly off the road. I heard a voice from heaven, and the voice said, those who die, they carry with them a record of their deeds, and they can now rest from all of their labours. Together today, we have remembered Stephen. Together today, we ask that to him, God will grant that which he richly deserves, eternal light, eternal peace, eternal joy, eternal grace. And so in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we bless you this day, Stephen, and we send you into eternity. Let us also remember those beautiful words, weeping may last for a night, but joy cometh with the morning. And this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So God bless you all. I'm sorry this is a, a sad time of the year. I know with Christmas coming, but try in Stephen's memory to have a blessed Christmas. And let us remember that fantastic news that one day we shall all meet again. God bless you all. Keep well and most importantly, keep safe. God bless you. Please come and pay your last respects and your condolences. Thank you. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> 